Coming up on Inside O-Town. Oxford students are traveling to Uvalde, Texas this week to make a deeper connection between the two communities. We found out what people of OHS are thankful for. All that and more coming up next. Good morning, Wildcats. Hi, I'm Carly. And I'm Olivia. And this is Inside O-Town. On May 24th, Uvalde, Texas was struck by tragedy that hit home with the Oxford community. The trauma that Rob Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas experienced was all too familiar to OHS. On November 30th, we felt similar emotions they did. In response to this, a group of students started the Oxford Legacy Group to find a way to help and give back the love that we have received on our journey to healing. Through a GoFundMe page created by Ms. Barnett, they raised over $15,000 in donations to make this trip possible. Here are the students to explain more on what this trip means to them. I'm Samantha Kirchler. Uh, me and my friend Lizzie actually created the idea after we figured out all that happened and we were kind of, kind of didn't know what to do, kind of felt back in that same situation. I think two days after, we heard about the shooting at Rob Elementary School. We came to school and everyone was a wreck, as you can imagine. Everyone was in tears and shambles, and all we could do is go around and hug each other. We went to Mr. Edwards and we asked him what we could do, what, what he thought we could do to help these kids. And he said, just enable yourselves, try and do something, try and change the community for the better. Use your pain to help them, help something you understand how they feel more than most people can. We came up with the idea to ask other corporations um, for donations and we asked Joanne Fabrics and they gave us 11 pallets of felt and fabric. We made tie blankets all summer long with the help of leadership and mentorship. I think it's very important for us to go down there and continue our legacy of being Oxford Strong and especially for those for people in mind. This is really what we're going for and to help these children with their recent trauma as well. And I feel like being down there with the kids and having like a field day type uh, event will bring them cheer and joy through playing games and being with their friends and having food. So I think this is just important and to show the world that instead of highlighting all the bad is to focus on the good and focus on bringing love to their community. And What a great way to reach out to the people in the community and the students impacted. While on the topic of giving, we have a few things that you all could help out with. Leadership in the Oakland Activities Association is hosting a coat drive for Oakland County Sheriff's Coats for Cold program. Be sure to bring in your new or gently used coats to your advisory class. Leadership and NHS are hosting the food drive tomorrow, November 18th, is the last day. Be sure to bring in your cans to your first hour. And remember, ramen is worth zero points. Cash or check donations can be given to Ms. Getz or Mr. Button, and all donations are being given to Oxford Orient Fish. You all may have seen some new faces around the school. There are lots of new staff around. Lily and Cadbury decided to speak with some of the new staff about their experience at the school so far. OHS has introduced many new staff this year. They have been welcomed into this family with smiles and positivity. Oxford is different from other schools. Senior Salsa, the new Spanish teacher, said Second year teaching, um, but my first year teaching last year um, was my first year teaching at all. Oxford isn't normally a destination people think they will end up in. The same district. Uh, didn't know it was going to be in the same building, uh, so that was a plus. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, but for me, being in the same district as my kids, uh, was always a big draw for me. Our school has constant genuine positivity, wearing Oxford pride as a representation of our true school spirit. Well, I just like, I like the spirit here. I feel like it's genuine when you walk the halls and see people in Oxford stuff. Right. Um, I'm wearing it today. I just feel that it's, it's like a, there is a genuine school spirit here um, that I feel like always been here. Everyone experiences OHS differently. Mr. Brennan's wife was once at Oxford. So far his experiences has been good. Oh, it's been great. I mean, it's been a challenge to, to be sure. Um, it's, it's, there's a lot of new people I've been trying to meet. So I've been trying to get to know 1800 kids and over 100 staff members. And that's a big, big thing for me. Um, 
but I've been working on it and I'm getting there slowly and otherwise I mean it's it's been really nice. The new staff agree that the students and the spirit at OHS are the best, but they say that one of their favorite things is... So the first time somebody told me about the wings, I went and I got them with sauce, and I was like, oh, these are pretty good, but maybe like overrated. But then somebody told me, no, you got to get them tap style. So I went and got them tap style, and they are probably hands down the best wings that I've had. With that being said, the Oxford family has not only grown in size, but in love. On November 21st, we are lighting up OHS with love. If you are interested in helping out, you can sign up using the QR codes around the school. It is from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And we are still accepting donations to help light up OHS. Drop-offs for donations are at the front office. Reagan Burns and Jocelyn Riem from the swim and dive team qualified for states. Where is it at? Oakland University on November 18th and 19th. Be sure to go cheer them on. This year, football was a little bit different for us. The team put in a lot of hard work and dedication to make their forever captain, Tate Muir, proud. Through the ups and downs, the team pulled through to the end of the season. Whether they win or lose, we will always be proud of our Wildcat team. While high school football is officially over, Isaac Fancheck spoke with some of the football players about what they will remember from the season. The Oxford football season has come to an end. It was a unique season especially for the seniors, knowing it was their last. Um, yeah, it was, it was tough, and it was really uh, kind of sad, the reality of growing up and not being able to be out there anymore and put pads on, obviously, and um, practice and stuff like that. So it was, it was a tougher season, obviously, being the last, but I really did enjoy it. There were more challenges than usual, which made it an emotional year. It's pretty sad. Um, I don't know. It's just, I'm happy to have the memories I will have, but it, it was obviously sad. Um, just knowing that I'm never going to put on my pads again, uh, never strap on my helmet and play with all my friends and, you know, just play the game I love. Despite the challenges, the seniors were role models for the juniors. Uh, they taught us it's like a, a big family. They taught us to all be friends, and they taught us to like try hard mm -hmm. and make sure we put all our, put our, all of our effort in at practice and in games. The season didn't go as the team wanted, but important lessons were learned and bonds created. We are thankful for the football team and what they did for the community. Because Thanksgiving is around the corner, Caitlin and Sarai asked some of you what you were thankful for. Um, I'm thankful for um, my friends and my family. I'm thankful for in the therapy dogs at the school. And I'm grateful for food. Family. Uh, my parents and what they have done for me. They've done a lot of things for me, like making food for me and providing a house and shelter for me. I'm grateful for my amazing family and my siblings. One thing I'm grateful for is whoever manages the supply chain at Meyer, so I always got oyster crackers on me. I'm grateful for my amazing department and how they love and support each other. Okay. I am grateful for my boyfriend and his family. I am grateful for my family and friends for the support they give me and helping me through hard times. I am very grateful for the students here at Oxford High School. I love them. We have the best students around. Um, I'm very blessed that I get to spend each and every day with y'all. Um, I'm super grateful for all of my coworkers here at school. It really makes it easier to come here and work every day when you have friends that you get to hang out with. Um, and I appreciate my students as well, so I'm grateful for everybody. My health, my friends, and my family, and Mr. Trotter. I'm grateful for health and family and the upcoming holiday season. Okay. I'm thankful for friends, family, and food. I'm grateful for working here and meeting all the nice kids and teachers that are around and makes it for a very interesting and exciting and fun experience. I am grateful for Mr. Rourke. Hi. I'm grateful for everybody. Grateful for Reese Ford. I'm grateful for Nadia Rivera. I'm very thankful this Thanksgiving for Deputy Rafalski for him bringing us the cute little puppy, Deputy Axford.
thankful for our community and my family. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for my friends, family, and everyone watching this video. Something else to celebrate. Here are some birthdays for this week. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's all we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Be sure to send in your ideas to us at announcements at oxfordschools.org. Remember to take care of yourselves this holiday season. If you or a loved one is in need of support, be sure to reach out for help. We will be taking a short break, but we'll see you back in December. Have a great day, Wildcats, and remember, radiate and shine.